Hi, this is Rick Hedeman with RSA, the Security Division of EMC. In the first video, we talked a little bit about why NetWitness is important now and uh, what it is. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what the architecture looks like and how it works. So we talked about how NetWitness looks like a DVR uh, for your network traffic. Um, so if you take a look at this diagram here, I've got um, a pipe leading out to the Internet here and a secondary pipe leading out to the Internet here. Um, and the architecture of NetWitness, NetWitness has a device called a decoder here. And the decoder sits off of a, ta a tap or a span port um, looking at the traffic going out to the Internet so it's not a bump in the wire, it doesn't get in the way, it's just taking a copy of the data here and ingesting that data within the decoder. Um, within that decoder, it's actually processing the packets and assembling them in memory uh, to form the sessions. And then once it's got the sessions, it's building metadata around that, se that session. So looking at uh, source and destination, looking at port and protocol, looking at content, that kind of thing. Building metadata and then writing it off to disk on the, the decoder. So the packet data is written off the disk, the session data is written off the disk, and then the metadata is written off the disk on the decoder. And that happens continuously within the decoders. Um, we've got one here for this egress point and one for this egress point. They don't have to be egress points, but typically we see our customers looking at traffic going out to the Internet. The second device here, and again this is an appliance, uh, is a collector. The collector can aggregate metadata from multiple decoders. So in this particular case, we've got two decoders. Um, the collector will periodically pull that decoder configurable for metadata associated with what it's discovered here. It'll pull that metadata back to the, the collector here and then delete the metadata off the detector. And then ultimately, um, that aggregated metadata um, is queried by a third appliance, a broker. Um, the broker is accessed via any one of the applications that the end user would be interacting with in order to query the NetWitness system for information. So the way that works is a query would come in to the broker. Say a query is for uh, information about a particular IP address. Well, an IP address would be part of the metadata associated with a particular session and therefore it would exist at the collector. So the broker would go to the appropriate collector and you can have multiple collectors so it's expandable and scalable that way. But it would request that information, the metadata from the collector and the collector would send that metadata back to the broker, back to the investigator or the, the analyst. Now if that analyst said, well that IP is interesting and that metadata is interesting to me, I really want to see the whole stream, the whole session, all the packets then from here they would make a request through the broker to the collector. The collector would know where that packet information resided, where that session information resided, and it would query the actual data from the detector. The detector would send the data back up to the collector and back out to the application. So the net effect is the decoder is primarily responsible for writing the information to disk and analyzing it in memory. The collector does a lot of the what I would consider sort of big data security analysis of um, the information and then only when you need the actual data does a query happen on the detector and we do that because of the the IO requirements on the storage here are considerable depending on what this pipe looks like and you don't want your uh, your users here in your applications affecting your ability to, to record uh, the information going by. So that's what the architecture looks like more broadly. Um, there are four applications primarily within the NetWitness stack. Um, investigator, uh, Informer, Visualize, and Spectrum, and I'll talk about each one of them briefly. Investigator is essentially the workbench that an analyst would use to dive into the data, to query the data. So they might ask questions like, you know, for this particular IP address, what other connections were made out to the Internet? Informer is really an alerting and reporting engine. 
So let's say I always want to know when the CEO's PC connects to China. I can set up a rule, and it can alert me and let me know that I need to investigate what's going on. Visualize allows the analyst to actually see what's going on within the session. So um, if a video goes by or there's a voice over IP connection or perhaps there's a document, Visualize actually will show that document to that uh, analyst visually. Sometimes it's a lot easier to scan through a set of documents visually than it is to try to go through and look at the text. Um, and then Spectrum is specifically, uh, it's a separate uh, sort of capability that allows uh, analysts to do malware analysis uh, in an automated kind of way. Um, so leveraging the fact that we're capturing executables and all the information around it, we can automatically scan and analyze those executables for malware content, um, effectively making your analysts much more effective at their job and being able to prioritize what they go after. So that's a high-level view of the architecture. The only other piece that I would add here is that there is a data feed, uh, a NetWitness live feed, that's available that comes in that provides additional context to um, the data here. And it actually gets added into the metadata within the collector. So for instance, like known bad sites and things like that are automatically drawn in to this. And so when you're building rules and triggers and, and looking at data, you can know if there's known malware or known malware sites and that can be prioritized in your stack as you're working, uh, working through your work queue. So I, I hope that gives you a view of what the architecture looks like for NetWitness. Um, in the next video, I'll talk a little bit about how the end users are using the tool and um, the analysts get value out of the tool.